Yeah, mama, the, um, the health of a cell, an atom cell, an atom seed, the health of the seed, the seed transfer, the health of a cell is its spin capacity, like a capacitor on a motherboard. And, um, that's why I made a number of references about uh, getting cleaned up and burning off dirty radiation, IMP weapons, you know, sticky notes. Remember Lay, Lemurian Light, getting the goo off, man, just burn that stuff off. Burning through those nets, that's what I do out here when I go out and work with the sun. I can see all the, all the uh, artificial layers and all the stuff that they do up in the sky, the ionosphere and all that, and just, you know, when you're directly connected to the core, the silver and gold mated core, and I do some breathing mattresses, which is the breathing order, which is the breathing order, which is the breathing order, which is the mathematical order of perfect structural, spiritual engineering integrity, which is analog, because analog is high precision. Digital is not reliable. All you have to do is pull that video up where that guy showed where that plane crashed. Because the digital, the digital marker as a marker, as an indicator light, was providing false light information. So that plane would crash. Because that pilot relied on digital information, digital data. And so when he relied on digital data instead of the analog precision, that he relied on the analog then he would have made a different decision and he wouldn't have crashed the plane. The plane wouldn't have gone down. That's called evidence, evidence of the truth. <clears throat> the log scale vector. Yeah, and that, and that has everything to do with uh, building a matrix table, a high precision matrix table, water table, fire and water, fire and ice, joint is one, experience being one in perfect mathematical firing order. So the sequence is perfect because the frequency of that sequence is perfect, which is perfect atmospheric balance to experience a true vacuum, the thermostat, the voltage regulator, self-regulating the spin. So the spin ratios of the elementals are perfect because they all zero out because they're equal to each other. One is not trying to be more powerful than the other. They're experiencing being loved, which is as pure as pure can be which is the non-matter state. And that's security. That's cosmic level security, which is cosmic level permanent records. They can't alter those. Oh, they can't alter. Yeah, like an alternate universe, an alternate state of mind. Right? Yeah, the, the disassociated identity disorder. Which one are you? Well, how many of you are there? Right. And I've worked with many multiples of those throughout my life. And that's why direct experience is the best teacher, because now you're getting the, the flow back. What it feels like. So what it feels like. So we're feelers. How sensitive we feel, which is our capacity to feel. And monitor what's happening with the cells. Cellular communication. Seeds, seeded races. Directories. Permanent records everything that has or ever will be in the future as a future potential memory, the next creation born out of an eternal star. And so I, I mentioned, because I was reflecting on this this morning when I woke up, it just came to me, for example, how this works. When I was in school and I was told to, to I wasn't told, but I chose to do an elective class to write a paper about something that other people experienced, but I didn't experience it directly. So that's called indirect. So you have inflow, return flow. So this was an indirect experience because I didn't experience it. Because one thing I know through experience, particularly during accident investigations, arson investigations, or when a, a fire breaks out and you want to go back and look at the point of origin, all you got to do is follow the burn patterns. And you'll, and you'll find the ignition point, and then the flash point. Oh, that's right where it started. We know right where that fire started. 
Yeah, and that's the burn patterns, the sound line burn patterns of consciousness directed energetic mirrors that becomes a sound recording. Our experiences, what we experience, it's based on our own records, our own recordings, what we record by virtue of what we experience, the speed at which we're experiencing, being one. So we're going in the right direction with a crystal wave. The seven go made it one. The grand creator spirit, born out of pure, internal, eternal, absolute love. So that's the standard. That's the gold standard. So I started with the gold standard when I'm four years of age. I know what the standard is because that's what I am. Because I'm experiencing that through my heart and my soul. And the essence of my spirit, the sun temple, which is a breathing tempo which is a breathing order, which is the firing order of the sequence to burn off and maintain what? Your stability. Right? Of your macabre, your life spirit body, your transportation vehicle. Right? Your translocation, a transharmonic, the unity wave, the crystal wave. I'm everywhere at once. Nothing's happened yet. The starting point. The flashpoint, the ignition point, part of gas, a tetrahedon, two four squares, the crystal alhambra networks, the golden fleece network, the golden one, the gold detector, detecting the weight, the weight of the waves, ride the waves, ride the waves home, the home passage, the gold heart, purple gold heart. So for them, it has opposite meaning as war gamers. You know, in the purple heart, my father, my biological father had a purple heart. I think he had two of them because he, he was shot down by friendly fire. You know, it's not friendly fire, is it? They, they call it friendly. So that, in other words, they lie, but it's now we're back to mishmashing words. You know, it depends on what is, is, is. So I share my experiences, direct experiences, what I learned through all those experiences. That's why, for example, um, I was reminiscing what it was like by virtue of what I learned as a diagnostic, analog, statistical, comparative analysis. So in other words, instead of reading books about people that have suffered me mental health disorders through indirect experience, I chose to experience it directly. So I attended and went to, as I remember it, six different psychiatric hospitals with people from all age groups, everything from children and adolescents to women and, and men that were all in there uh, as, as what they call a dysfunctional order, a dysfunction, distorted sound waves. The firing order is not perfect mathematical, structural, spiritual, engineering, integrity to experience perfect balance. So their mind is perfectly balanced. So the pressure changes, the echo maps. We're experiencing the true vacuum of a real echo and not false light echoes, false light vacuum, spiritual torture chambers, right? So I went in, I went into six um, and listen, just like all the rooms I went into Alcoholics Anonymous. So it's a very humbling experience, but it's a learning experience because now we're learning through direct experience. Now it becomes a part of our record the permanent record and what we learned through all the others that are in there, including why I was in there. Right. And how they treat you, how they treat us when we're in there. It's, it's, I used to call it a fancy prison, you know, all their AI drugs, right? The two, two, two cycles. But it's a very humbling experience because you learn through direct, that's direct learning. That is direct learning. That is not indirect. That's not something I heard through somebody else. That might have been what you experienced, but I didn't experience. That's what we used to say when we were a child. Here's something and a dime will get you a cup of coffee, which means it's worthless. I didn't experience it. So I cannot, I have no, I have no idea what it's like to experience what you experienced. You experienced that. That's your sound recording. Okay, that's what you learned. That's not what I learned. Okay, I'm, I'm learning what I'm learning through what I'm learning by what I experience. So experience is the teacher. Yeah, and that's, and that's why in education they call it experiential learning. 
learning through the, the experience, which is direct experience. Now that becomes direct knowledge. And that's what I do. I share what I experience, which is what the truth is. Okay. So obviously all, all those experiences from what I remember by what I learned through those experiences are not pleasant. That's why when I was a child and I acknowledged my, telling mom, this is going to be, this is going to be a bumpy ride because I knew at four years of age, I'm going to have a lot of experiences in the future that are sequenced in a very particular mathematical firing order of things that I'm going to experience directly that aren't what I am. And I didn't want to do it. So I looked up in the sky one morning when I was about eight years of age and said, I don't want to do this. And why is that? Because I'm already where I'm at now. In order for me to be where I'm at now, which means I still haven't left home, which is zero, I needed to experience all those experiences from which I learned. And then I share those experiences by putting them on the record, the permanent records, from which we all learn. Because those records are all open, which is record access to learn from what we've all learned as a collective. Because there isn't any separation from the grand creator, from the source field, which represent all the records. Yeah, so I keep it simple, which is simple logic. A test light, test the circuits. How are the circuits firing? How is the DNA firing? Right? Non-repairable DNA, non-repairable cells. Healthy cells? How healthy are the cells? Well, test the cells. How much light are they running on? What is their speed? What is their speed ratio? What are the mathematical ratios of their spin capacity? What is their sensing capacity? How electrically sensitive are they? Right? Because you know how it works with I do to you what I do to me. As that relates to the inflow, the eternal source of all electrical power to build a motherboard. Now I'm experiencing what I am, which is the mother arc of the proton, which is the 13th mother arc starfire light cycle. So there could be no errors. Because we understood and acknowledged they're going to do everything they can to interfere with us. So that had everything to do with what? The promise to be back and wake us all up. So they were scrambling, just like scramblers. You know what a scrambler is, to scramble a signal. Somebody mentioned one time, yeah, walk all over the signal. And you'll notice there wasn't a pole shift that took place in 2018, was there? Why is that? Because love is a law. And you cannot escape the eternal truth, which is eternal honor, which is to honor the highest code, which is the fiat code. The know me code, know my code. So it had everything to do with monitoring, cell monitoring. The level of sensitivity that you operate at, we operate at together as one. So that that wouldn't happen. And that had everything to do with security access, which is the level of security that we operate at. As it relates to what? Interference pattern to interfere that. In other words, when it when it realizes what we've done, it's too late. <laughs> know what we mean? It's already happened. Uh, I can't undo what they did. That's right. That's perfect structural mathematical integrity. That's what integration is. That's the core of the problem, is lack of integration. That's what happens with the fall. The victim victimizer bores mates is quarantine. You can't escape that truth. It spreads like wildfire, wanting to right itself so it doesn't lose contact because it needs your electrical power. our electrical power, our collective electrical power to maintain what it's aware of because of what it is as an energetic vampire. 
So it has everything to do with electrical consent and the highest law, honoring the highest law and how that relates to extraction as evacuation of a true vacuum. Holding the doors open, Tej Intadori, Ki Rache, Ita Ur Chalet, Crystal Lay, the Crystal River, the Crystal River Council, the Aurora Councils, the Rose, the Crystal Rose Council, right? The Four Square Crystal Cathedral, that's Sophia, that's the Pink Crystal Rose, that's who we are. So that's why I'm so electrically sensitive, you know, and, and why um, I don't share everything that I experience with everybody that I have a window open with, like a neutron window of the neutral zone, because of how sensitive that I am, because you already know what the reaction is going to be because of the programs that are held, that are running in the background that they're held captive to, and they're just simply not aware of it. And, uh, and how that relates to the, uh, the red pulse wave. Because see, in my book, when I thought about when I was 11 years of age, being a lifeguard, you know how it is, man overboard. And um, throwing a, a, a life raft out there or um, throwing them a cord. Right? Hey, I'm anchored to the core of first creation, first internal, eternal, absolute, pure love, the silver and gold made in shade, the 13th mother, right, right there at the center. Never left home. Remember like the example of the El Capitan? Anchored. Anchored to the magnetosphere. The inner core, the inner echo core. The true core of a true vacuum. That's home. Now I'm rep like repelling down El Capitan. Here, grab my hand. We'll pull you out of there. Come on as polarity integrators, shattered crystal soul fragments, experience being one again, experience being whole again. So there isn't a delay, which means no decay. So we're not experiencing any dirty electricity. So it's a speed of, of burn time of exposure. You know, that's why I went into environmental engineering. I, as a matter of fact, long before I ever even did that, I was aware of 24D. I was working with 240 because you know it all ends up in the groundwater, right? Radiological, biological, and chemical contamination. So they poisoned every pathway. That's what they did. So they're universe killers. Yep, putting dioxins in the water supply. Right, all the biologicals, all the chemical weapons, all the radiological weapons. And so we know what a pathway is of exposure, what we breathe, right? What we absorb, what we touch, all our senses, everything that we sense, which means they wanted to poison. They did poison every pathway of communication, which is every line, every ley line, every line of communication, which Simply put, is to is to kill off all stenic life form as numbers, as a mathematical table. It's based on killing numbers to generate another artificial cloned or mortal body to keep playing the game, to keep playing the mortal body game, the Star Wars video game, the Borgia Matrix game, the victim victimizer. Requires an opponent. That's how insidious it is. It has everything to do with memory wipes. And remember the grand creator, remembering the silver and gold mated one. Which is experiencing being the law. Which means there's no rewind. I don't have to be reminded. Because the feedback, the return of what I experience by virtue of what we do is going to be immediate. And that has everything to do with what? Sensitivity. Running full sensing capacity. How deeply we feel for all sentient life forms. I know. That's why I look at me first. 
my the sense of what I'm sensing and making different choices that improve the spin, the spin capacity to experience being more sensitive. That's why I let myself on fire. Being as sensitive, as sensitive, as sensitive, as sensitive, as sensitive as I can be, because that's called protection, which is a shield, which is immunity function, which is the function of purity, which is the function of a radio wave, a crystal radio, to experience the seal of made one, the one I serve forever and always on duty. For always, always on fire to learn, which means I'm on fire to create. The worlds we live in, because the worlds we live in are based on what love is, which is called a base point, which is a flash point, which is the ignition point to experience what we see in our mirror because we're on fire, which is cosmic fire, which is cosmic level records and why they're all open, which is open access, otherwise known as open source structural engineering integrity. A perfect firing order as originally intended by the grand creator. So we're experiencing the starting point, the single point, the still point of being calm, no pressure. As light as light can be. Mu eva ya.